Hey there, Santi here. Today we're gonna be talking about Walling, a visual app for collecting and organizing ideas. In this video, I'll show you how I'm rebuilding my website and how Walling is amazing for that because I can capture all sorts of inspirations and I can grab different parts of my website and components of that and see them visually in Walling. You'll see, it's really cool. Now, real quick, for transparency's sake, I wanted to let you know this video is actually sponsored by Walling, so obviously it's hard to be completely impartial, but I wanted to share a bit of my real opinions about how I perceive Walling. So for me, it's a bit of a complementary tool when you want to organize visual projects and ideas, so that's how I use it because my main apps for note taking and task management are apps like Tana. It might just resonate with you a bit more to have something a bit simpler like Walling or you can use it the same way that I use it when you really need to lay things out and just organize things visually in a very aesthetic functional way. So that is my real opinion. With that said, let's get into Walling. Right, so a little tour on the left, you have walls, which we're gonna explore in a second where you can organize projects. And here you have the daily desk, which to me, I think is one of the coolest features about Walling. You can just drag and drop. I have an image in my files. And here we have the Mona Lisa. So Mona Lisa, there we go. Now if I wish, this little circle helps me tag things. So I can just tag it art. And now what's really cool is that if I go all the way down, I have a section for tags and here I can just filter any tag that I have and it's gonna search anything that I've tagged with art. And there it is, the Mona Lisa right here. So it's a really cool way in which you can just drop things on the daily desk and then filter things. Those filters, you can do them in any particular wall as we're gonna see later. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click in here to create a new wall and I'm gonna select blank and up here, I can just change the name to what I want. And I'm just gonna name this wall and I'm gonna favor it so it goes to the left sidebar and here I can rearrange it so that it goes at the very top if I want. And now I'm gonna create my first section, which is the purpose of my website. And I'm just gonna start reflecting why am I even remodeling my website? And here I'll just share some of my ideas on why I'm choosing the platform that I'm choosing and so on. As you can see, writing, writing, writing. Now what's pretty cool is that I can also change the colors of each one of these just to make things look a bit better, I feel. So yeah, it's pretty cool, it looks a lot better. Now I could create another section for website inspiration and I can go to my favorite websites and grab screenshots of the elements that I really like, write some information. I can also zoom into these images, it's pretty handy. And I can go to see tons of elements that I believe is something that I would like to add to my own website, right? And so on, that's the process. Screenshot, screenshot, and very quick and easy way to capture things in Walling in here. When you have several images like this, you can also decide to lay them out automatically so that everything just distributes nicely and you can change the number of columns. Now, also in this case, I realized I wanted a different section for website elements because some of these screenshots belong better in that section. I can move them to that particular section and that way everything is a bit more organized and I can have this looking nice. Great, so things are looking good. Now I want to show you a really cool workflow that you can develop. What if I want to tag things that are related to dark mode? So different designs such as this one, I just tag dark mode, dark mode, I have a couple of these. And the way you do that again is by just using this little circle where you just start typing whatever you want. So here we have dark mode again. And what I can do now, which is amazing, is I can have a new section called dark mode and I can use the wizard. This is a feature right here that will let us, when activated, it will let us filter things down just so that everything related to dark mode is gonna come right here. So look at that. Everything that has been tagged dark mode comes right here. And as you can see, there's even a dark Mona Lisa in the daily desk. I put another one in there and tagged the dark mode. So what's really cool about Welling is that if I go back, you will see that whenever you do a wizard search, it's gonna search everywhere. So anything that you have even in the daily desk or across your whole account in Welling is gonna come and be filtered here. That way you can really organize things anywhere. And as long as you tag them correctly, you can always search them. And you can always also do a bit of more advanced searches by having several tags is really really cool okay so now let me show you a really cool way in which you can organize to do's in here and one of the cool things about welling is that you can change the type of view that you want by just going to the right in here at the, at the very top and change it to Kanban for instance and now you can have things such as inbox uh, later and let's say done right now in here you can just start adding new bricks and moving them around as needed now, let me take you real quick to my actual setup right here. So as you can see, I have a couple more things going on. And again, I'm leveraging the power of Walling to make things very visual, to add a screenshots. And that way it just can very easily keep track of what's going on. So I can just like easily take a screenshot of that and put it into my inbox. And then maybe this is something I want to work on next or maybe later. 
And as you can see, I don't actually have the done section in here. And that is because I prefer doing something else. But of course, just making use of this is probably the easiest way to set it up. And it works obviously great. But right now, let me just actually show you what my actual workflow is, because I think you might enjoy it. So let's say that here I have a couple of tasks in here. So for instance, this one I want to work on next. Now, what I do is I actually tag it done website. And look what happens when I tag it like this, it disappears, right? So give it one second. There it is. And that is because I have a filter going on in here, which I'll show you in a second. But the way that you create these ones is, as you can see, I have different sections in here and I can just create a new section, decide which style I want to see it as. And here, I, for instance, can select visual and I can just call it done tasks, right? Now, when I create this, it's just gonna bring everything that is in this section. So in here in filter, I can decide which tags I want to see. So just take a look like this one right here does not have the done tag. But if I just go done website, now it's only going to filter by those that do have it. So it's just going to update everything. And here I can see all of my done tasks nicely laid out so that I can later revisit everything that I've done, which is just a nice way to visualize absolutely all the progress that I've done. So I like that a lot. I can also change the color in here if I want and I can move it, for instance, there. Now, what's going on in the to do is that whenever I tag a new one, so let's create a new brick. Whenever I tag something done, again, it disappears from here. So this one right here is going to disappear from there. And the reason for that is because I have another filter going on where it actually hides anything that has the done tag. So as you can see here, I have tags done and also to revisit to revisit is just another section that I have in here. So feel free to ignore that for now. And in here I have the filters hide matches. So now everything that has this tag is just going to disappear. So again, if I just create a new example and I tag it done, you will see that it is going to disappear. And if I go up here, done tasks, you can see that that new example is right here, right? So that's how I keep track of everything. And again, this just creates a very nice view where I can see all the progress that I've done, which is pretty encouraging for me. But again, if that sounds a bit too confusing or too much work, like, don't worry, you can just, again, just create a different section here and just move things accordingly to done. And that is the easiest way you can do that. But I just wanted to show you a bit of the power that you can have out of creating these different sections. It's a pretty visual solution and absolutely love it because you leverage all the power of welling and just make things very nice and visual and easy to reorganize as needed. Now we got several sections and if you want to reorganize them or just be able to visualize them all, you can always collapse them by clicking in here. You can collapse them and expand them. And if you want to, you can also rearrange them by dragging them and dropping like so. But a much better way is to go to this top menu that says jump to. You can expand that. And now check this out. I can just rearrange them and they're going to be rearranged down there, as you can see. So that is working and is super helpful. And of course, if I click on any of this, I can just jump to that part. So it's just going to take me here. And here I have some screenshots of my website because it's such a visual project. Here is my website and I can just take a screenshot and add it there. And it just becomes a really useful way woo, to <laughs> be able to capture the progress that I made so far. So that way I can easily compare between different versions of the website. So this quickly becomes a really nice and elegant place where I can just organize absolutely everything regarding to my website. It works amazing for visual projects. And also, if you do collaborate with anyone, you can always share this project and that way you can send a link. You can even allow people to leave comments to make it even a more collaborative experience. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of how powerful Walling can be for organizing things visually, laying out ideas and projects. And if you do want a bit more inspiration on different ways to use Walling, I also made a video right here a while ago where I talk about other ways in which I use Walling because I think it's very flexible and it can do tons of different things. And with that said, do check out the links in the description. I'll leave more information right there about Walling. And I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye. Thank you.